guys welcome to vicariously vintage acres away from vicariously vintage acres today we are working on my mom's raised bed garden and yesterday was her birthday so we went and bought all of the plants and all of the soil mix and everything else that I hope everything that we need to get that accomplished so sleepy here and I are going to get that work done so come on going to put down this weed barrier today. This came from the Dollar Tree. It's four foot by eight foot. And as you remember, our box is three by three. So we are actually going to fold this in half, or depending on where it's at when I get it unfolded. Yep, yeah, we gotta unfold it and refold it in half the other way. But since this is a little thinner and the box is not very deep, we're doubling it up. So I actually set this up when we got here a couple of days ago just to kind of make sure that this is where it needed to be. And it's fairly level here. So that was a big deciding factor. So we've got that. And come take a look so you can see what it looks like. And I'm just going to tug it out a little bit just to kind of tighten it up. Once we put weight on that, that's going to kill everything. So we'll be right back. So we are going to use Mel's mix from Square Foot Gardening and he recommends one-third vermiculite, one-third peat moss, and one-third various composts. So we got these two here, the organic humus and manure and the compost and manure from Walmart. They were less than four dollars between the two of them. I found four cubic feet Oh no, I'm sorry, three cubic feet of peat moss at Home Depot. I got the black cow, and that is spelled with a K in case you're looking for it, black cow composted manure. And this had holes in it, so I actually got it half off at Home Depot. And lastly, this is the expensive part of this project. I got a large bag of vermiculite. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start pouring in a little bit at a time and mix it up as we go. And then once this is in, we'll get some plants planted. Okay, so I have to run up to Walmart to pick up a few more bags of compost and then I think it will be just about ready. So we'll be back in a little while to get this finished up. Okay guys, we are at Walmart and I'm looking at the Earth Grow Organic Humus and Manure 
and this stuff is $1.57 per bag. And then over here, I've got the bags of compost and manure, and those are $1.82. Those are the types I had at home. So I'm just going to run in and purchase two of each of those, and I think I am going to look around at some other gardening stuff just to see what they have because we're no longer from North Georgia. See you on the inside. Found some plants that were on markdown for $1.44. I don't need them, but for $1.44, I'll take them. There's two tomato plants, and then there's two pots each of zucchini and yellow squash, but there's two to three plants in each of the squash things. So we're going to pop over there and pick up our four bags of various composts, and then back to my mom's house to get those into the raised garden bed. Hey guys. Um. I forgot to turn the camera back on when I came back and finished filling in the compost and planting the plants and I'm going to show that to you but uh, we also got a little bit of bad news that my husband's grandmother is not doing well and they have family driving in. Um, thankfully right now I'm in North Georgia and she lives in Atlanta. <clears throat> and details are still forthcoming uh, but this is the amazing lady that just turned a hundred and I posted a video of her a few weeks ago um, talking at her 100th birthday party so I'm sure you can understand why I completely glossed over uh, recording that but uh, why don't we go ahead and head down there and I'll give you the very quick tour because it's only three feet by three feet Okay, so this is it, and we filled it up with the compost, the peat moss, and the vermiculite mix. Um, I went ahead and bought plant starts for her just to give her a head start on everything, but we've got two blank spots here and right here, and I have planted two potatoes in each of those. I went by the Square Foot Gardening website as to how many plants I could plant per square foot. Now, he is very adamant that if you don't have anything marking, you know, all the way across up and down your grid, that it's not true square foot gardening, but I'm working with what I have and what I was able to bring down and get while I was here. So back here we have sun gold, right here we have beefsteak, and over here in this corner is Cherokee purple up here. Oh, and all the tomatoes you can fit one per square foot. Then on this side and over on this side we have Brussels sprouts. Again, those are one per square foot. In the middle here we have an okra plant, also one per square foot. And again, the potatoes in each corner, there's two half potatoes in each of those quarters. Now in the middle front foot here, I have planted six green beans. They're bush beans. Now he says you can plant up to nine per square feet. Um, one of them broke, I guess, in the car or something, but I told my mom that I was just going to leave that in there. If it comes back, great. If it doesn't, she still has five other plants. And you can see this took a little bit of a beating in the car, too. But this is her three foot by three foot square foot garden, or wannabe, since I don't have the grids. And I've told her just to do a bunch of research, keep it watered, keep up with it. If she loves it, next year we'll work on building her some more. So we will see you guys later. Um, thanks for watching and keep my husband's family especially in your prayers. Bye-bye.